<clears throat> All right. So this is just a follow up. It's um right now nine thirty. It's um I think uh, eighteen degrees, which is probably not gonna be the case anyways. Um, and so far, I finished night trap at like eleven. I think eleven thirty in the morning. Or something like that. I finished on finished it on the perfect route, and I'm not gonna lie, <laughs> it's a pretty, and I mean a pretty fucking um, exhausting thing, you know. Like, like first up, like the whole the whole core of the game, so, as if. if Basically, I'm gonna explain the game in short terms. Alright, so basically, Night Trap is originally a live action FMV um, Sega CD launch game, and a terrible one at that. Not to mention that it had a really shit ton of controversy, and it was released before Congress, and. Especially with a controversial scene, along with the fact that it's, like I said, a pretty terrible launch game. That pretty much been the first step to screw over the Sega CD console. And basically, when it's even an FMV game where you watch. Um, the whole thing well you actually don't all right you can't even watch the intro because the intro is gonna be on you from the game's time so in other words press the start button after you're done watching the intro or something like that and you're gonna already find out that you're wasting time because uh, yeah, it's basically works as if it was a real time from the game's time. <clears throat> and, um, it's really stupid. So you have to basically skip the intro. What you do in Night Trap is basically capture some vampire-like creatures. Uh, along, along with the... Along with later on, you get to capture the the shady vampire family, who are the leaders of those vampire creatures. Right. Along with protecting protecting a bunch of family, and of course the star leader, Dana Plato, playing as Kelly, an undercover agent, and. Um, you're basically a member of the surveillance camera attack team, aka known as SCAT. And of course, people are gonna take SCAT out of pertinent context. Those idiots. But anyways. And you're in control of a, of a camera that goes around different sections of the house. You basically gotta capture those goddamn vampire creatures at a certain time. Yes, it does have a timer. And later on, the family, and s but it's then you won't be able to keep capturing people forever. Because later on, you're gonna have to change the, the access code so that you can get access to the traps. And, um, yeah, and within, and while you're trying to comprehend a little bit of what you should do, or what you're about to, what code is the next code, you simply gotta be fast and keeping your eyes peeled, which is something that none of us probably gonna have nowadays. Anyways, 
And for you to get a perfect ending, you need to capture at least like 95 of those goddamn blood sucking son of a bitch. Not only that, but you gotta be saving. Along with, of course, saving the ones that need to be saved. And literally trapping those goddamn family. And let me tell you, this is quite something. Now, like I said, it's pretty cheesy. It's pretty stupid nowadays. But during that time, for the Sega CD to be pulling off something like that, I guess it was pretty mind-blowing at the time. Oh, and there is a Japanese version for that. I'm not even joking. A Japanese version. And a Japanese voiceover on literally everyone in the goddamn cast. Except for most screams and grunts from most scenes that are still in English. It's like it's a fan-made dub over most of the goddamn game. Beating this game on my current state, literally all, all it required was a bunch of save states, rewind button, and the correct timing, or being there a bit earlier. However, you could, uh, you know, finish up the game without having the perfect route. But, let off a lot of those goddamn overs, and it's game over for you. Someone's gonna cut off the goddamn contact. <clears throat> and you are just gonna have to redo it all over again. And like I said, watching most of the plot or anything is gonna be a penalty on you, which is just a complete bullshit. So, I'm in an FMV game, and I cannot watch the intro itself, because cause by then, I would be already wasting time, and there would be already four of those bitches swarming all over the house. Like... Hello? <sighs> and I'm gonna be real. This is, this is honestly kind of fitting for a, for a dumbass like me who have lost all sorts of rational thoughts and stuff. Uh, yeah, beating up that game really took a lot of time. Aside of that, I have discovered a little bit of the, the PC part of Metal Gear Solid Integral. And it's a bit weird, I'm not gonna lie. A little bit cutbacks from the PS1. But, I mean... I am always going to stick to the PS1 version. Yes. And I might just finish that up later on. I don't know. <clears throat> and the rest of the day was pretty normal. Now I know that I was supposed to be spending those days that I'm off college studying a little bit least but I didn't get the necessary sheets that I could just study out of or get um, any kind of necessary lectures that anyone from the, from the class had even written on because uh, and people are quite lazy about it because these things that they have uh, from the last years or some shit which is 
not ideal at all. Really. <coughs> Shit. Only because I have drank a little bit of water, my goddamn throat is just not gonna go any better. And, um, hopefully, my throat gets healed sometime. Really. It's like there are some goddamn needles inject injected so hard inside. Like, bruh, I haven't even got a goddamn injection when this happened. Anyways, um... The rest of the days, like I said, is just gonna be pretty normal. And I don't know if, um, if things are gonna ever be any better. I guess so. I just hope that there is, there is something better. Like, first I would recover from my diseases. And later on, I'll be able to move on and forget. Because obviously, it's hard to forget. <sighs> you know, honestly, honestly, there are times that I've been really thinking of just going back on Twitter from, but it's really, really useless right now because. All of my friends there who missed me have probably forgot about me by now and moved on. Not to mention that most of them have probably turned on me, along with a few others. And even if I'm gonna try to make new friendships on the FGC communities, I would still be followed around and then tossed rocks and memes and basically been hidden in, god in every goddamn way in every part of my body. Maybe they're just gonna be taking my IP from my login of Twitter and they'll be just coming on over and literally come to destroy me. <laughs> And honestly, this is, this is just, I just hate it and it had to get to that, because I, you know, one day was a day on field trip day, and the next was a big fucking up, you know, a big goddamn Tsunami was onto my goddamn face. That I will never, ever be able to recover from. <sighs> I really, I really could have died that day. Honestly. But then... <sighs> I guess God wants me to be alive. Just to suffer more. I know it's kind of stupid me repeating all this kind of talk, but this is what my life has came into right now. And, and who knows? At the end of this year, I might just not be able to recover it. Just gotta hope that, um, just gotta hope that things are better than that.